Alright. Well, uh, I played some of your characters, so I think I have a vague idea of what's going on. Alright, that is more of a vague idea than what I have. I know you like to play footsies and keep close, sort of. I need to do something that involves playing Mask, I know that. <laughs> so I have a vague idea of the matchup, but the matchup is beyond your ken. That's true and uh, funny. <laughs> I think it's like a proto season five character. He's he's a cross between season one and five, where he has all of the like absolutely godlike capitalization. Uh as in he capitalizes on things, not his cards have really good capital letters on them. Uh of season five. And then he has the like card shape interactions of season one, where it's like, wow, all these cards are terrible, except when they're amazing. I don't understand. Mm. He likes to run around a lot. He does. Sometimes he doesn't, even if he doesn't like to do it. <laughs> yeah, as Blue puts it, b busted ults, busted exceed mode. Very Red Horizon. Uh, let me let me show people a boost that I think is a very season five boost, though. Um, there we go. Pay two force in a really good special to win the strike. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. heads. Okay. Um, the templating on Repel Leap is kind of bad though, so your, your choice. To be clear on how t Repel Leap works, mm -hmm. so if you're at the edge of the arena, you move anywhere, you strike, and you have either plus two power, or if you're in exceed mode, plus three power and plus one speed, on your attack, regardless of whether your attack is a special, an ultra, or a normal. But, if you, for example, move to here and strike, you only get the stat bonus once. You don't get plus two power and also plus two power. It basically is saying yeah. you qualify for your ability. Anyway. it's uh, It functions just like uh, Gambling I'm In and Pookie's Kit, if people are familiar with that. Alright. No. Excuse me. Hmm. Huh. Do I actually? No, surely not. Uh. Don't call me surely. That sounds weird. Alright, critical is spin the gauge and it's critical effect, right? Yep, uh, and then you spin the gauge when you set your attack. Fair. I don't think I like any of these. Let's put four back. I'm trying to decide if I keep this entire hand or I keep none of it. It's going to be one or the other. That's where I was. <laughs> hmm. uh, I'll put it to you like this. I was playing a very rimless game. <laughs> yep. Uh, so to me what that means is you had a hand of like, okay, I've got like one or two cards that I want and then a bunch of garbage, and that's probably exactly where I want it. <laughs> uh I was more going for a setup boost and then two EXs. Oh, dang. Alright. That is... Yeah, that's a Teketria game, is what I call that. I don't know if you played against Tech yet. Oh. Uh, maybe a while ago. He's notorious for drawing EXs. He plays Caden just because he just draws a lot of EXs. Like, he, hmm. put, he put points in his luck stat. Um, okay. So. Decisions are hard. Uh, I think I'm going to, like, install my better judgments, 
Mull 3. This deck is trolling me. Alright. Good luck in the fun. <laughs> that bad, huh? <laughs> what if you what if you molded EX and got a different EX? <laughs> Let's just put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, man. Something that I have learned is that I EX too often as Ken. Because most of the time you don't actually need to EX to get proper value. Ken leans into playing mix ups. Um that's not my inclination. Like my inclination is I got an EX, Windmill Slam that sucker. Like, let's just get free stats. But with Ken, EXing often doesn't hit rate points that are extremely important. Whereas, like, a boost and then a strike is a thing that Ken will do pretty often. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I probably need to go Hadoken. Ooh, actually, let me put that another way. Uh, for, for many characters, I would rather play an EX once and get a decent amount of value. Ken would rather play the attack twice and lose the mix-up once and win the mix-up once. <laughs> <laughs> like, and prob probably be pretty happy with that. Alright, so to clarify, you're done with more? Oh yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm good. Uh, I'll prepare because I think that's right. Sure. Um, and I will get in your face because you're Vega. Uh. Well. Wall leap. Okay, that's fair. That is that is m m more out of my face than I get into your face. I respect this. Um. Hmm. Strike. Strike. Hmm. Where's my Hadouken? <laughs> what, yeah, um, hmm. <laughs> I mean, you are the Hadouken. Uh, that's fair. Yeah, Barcelona hits, um... What is that, 5 to 8? Uh, Sky High Claw is 1 to 4. Pounce is 1 to 4. Rolling Crystal Flash is 1 to 6. Scarlet Terror is 1 to 4. I like that 5 to 8 is an actual range profile. <laughs> Except that's only even true in the corner. At other ranges, it, it gets different, and that's weird. So, I'm, I'm going to make a prediction. That you're going to go slow and just hit me on the recoil. I think that's correct. Okay, so you're calling not Hadoken, you're calling something that's bait. Yeah, like a sweep or something, maybe a focus. 100%. So I'll go with, yeah, rolling crystal flash. Oh, okay, and you're still willing to trade with that. <laughs> okay, yeah. well that does beat sweep, to be fair, that does beat sweep. Yeah. Alright, Uh. so yeah, you're way, way, way faster, you close a bunch, I take one, or sorry, I take three, because you're Vega, and then you yeah, take four. Much. Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, didn't call the right side of slope, but you know. Mm -hmm. Worrisome for me since I'm intending to play mix-ups this game. <laughs> All right. So then, let's see. It's on you now. Wait. No, I initiated. Oh, that was your initiation? Yep. Oh, yeah, okay. I baited that out. Well. Uh, this? Mm -hmm. uh, I jump? Yep. Oh, dang, you had the X. Well, okay. I'm done with this. Yeah, I was checking my ability to make sure that it doesn't matter if you initiate or me. That is correct. I think I'm just trying to exceed. I think that's the goal. Uh, probably true. Oh, and draw for him. That's what, what I usually do, at least. Okay. Uh, Burning Passion. 
speed and draw. Okay. Hmm. How fast can you possibly be? And hit you? Uh, seven, I think. If I have any X. That's fair. This is rough. Mm -hmm. Reading the card explains the card. Allegedly. That is a theoretical design principle. Doesn't necessarily explain how to use it, though. let you do that, so maybe I do this. No, that just seems terrible. So many exceed cards violate that design principle. Uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> What's right? No crit? No crit. Three, right? That's that's how you learn. Got to go I mean, fast. I mean, I, I don't disagree with the rushing seed Vega line. That's 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 how I generally play him. Um. Well, you got it. All right, take five. <laughs> uh, I mean that worked out well the first time. Well. Strike. No crit. <laughs> Fast one this time. Uh, sweep. Yeah, all right. Uh, you take four. <laughs> it worked out the second time. <laughs> I mean, that's true. It's true. Oh uh, well. All right, pull a card. All right, random card. Yep. I am sad. That's not the card I wanted. That okay. All right. Uh, well, custom combo. Hmm. I think I exceed. Uh, yeah pretty defensible. It does turn off your ability to crit in the short term, but in the long term it's probably worth it. Yeah. Um, so if I'm at the edge, three power, one speed, got it. Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, Five cards and discard, and you're already in exceed mode. On the other hand, this is a very fast-moving game in general. Um, Alright. Plus one speed and strike. I don't really like plus one speed and strike. Um, balls. Okay. Ooh, garlic that, terror. Glad to see one of those go away. Uh, take three, and I gain advantage. Uh. And with my advantage, I'll boost custom combo again. Hmm. 
Team. Range 4 seems bad. What am I hoping to draw out of my deck right now? What's good? Okay, there's a few things that can do something here. Uh, What do you do? You close one and draw as your action? Okay. Um, I think I take a very low tempo for it. All right. You start. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I guess I'm playing X Texas game after all. What can I say? So what hits? Uh, standard range four is dive. Let's look. Uh, dive had again, and then uh, Grants and Pikachu are my three. Do I have a way out of this? Fairly sure you have no way to guarantee you don't get hit. I'm fairly sure that's correct, so I'm going to wild some. Alright. Uh, Quite. well, that at least doesn't waste any useful cards in this situation. Yeah. Put it the nice way. Uh, so take six, my advantage. Alright. Please enjoy another mix-up. Calavantis, both copies of Rolling Crystal Flash were down. That's how he had to or three gauge that early. <laughs> Was RCF gets gauge very effectively. Uh one of them hit, yeah. Yeah, and the other was boosted. Yeah. So they both just yeah. they both went and gauge very quickly. One way or the other. Huh. I think this is terrible, but I think this might be the play. 
Let me think. How fast can you actually reasonably go? I think you're going slow again. Alright. So let's do this. Flying Barcelona? Oh my gosh. <laughs> you magnif- Alright. <laughs> Shoot! I thought it was sweet, actually, exactly. Yeah, no, you played the thing that beats it. Oh. <sighs> Magnificent. <laughs> you got me. Oh man, well I'm done. Still way now. Yeah, but that made a huge difference. <laughs> well done, well done. All right. Yeah, down on life, low on options, but well done. Oh man, I might have to consider my forbidden technique. Speed four applying Barcelona to dodge the EX sweet, my word. <laughs> Being willing to make that kind of play <laughs> that's that's oh man. <laughs> that's what makes you scary. <laughs> If only I could get some of the rest of the reads right, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna force move. Okay. I'm gonna force myself to move, but in a very different sense. Uh, draw one, close up to two. Draw another one. Yeah, so I almost never use his exceed, because... Have you seen his ultras and his crits? Um... But this is actually like the exact situation in which that kind of movement is important. I, like I need to not spend money much from hands. I need to close space. I need to gain resources. Yeah, I feel like it was correct. <sighs> Man, this feels really bad. I'm, I this can't be right. Hmm. It's always promising. Yeah, it's like, do I have any other option besides this? I'm not <laughs> sure that I do. So this turn might be a little complicated, I think. <laughs> okay, so we do this, then we do that. Well, I agree, Blue. I think Ken Flip is probably usually good into Rachel. It kind of is the supercharged inverse of her ability. Alright, I think this is what I'm going to do. Because um, I think you're running out of slow options. Ish. Mm, yeah, out of knee bashes, out of sweeps, I down one focus. Yeah, that's a pretty fair assertion. Don't have the gauge for Garen. Yeah, so I'm gonna repel leap, um, pay two four, uh, mask. <laughs> uh, yeah, there you go. That seems trouble, but I think I have to do that. Sense to me. Um, so I can move to any space and strike, and I gain my ability for power and speed. Um, 
Yeah. Move up to eight and strike with plus three power plus one speed. It's pretty good. What spot is good to move into, though? That's an interesting question. Let's go here. Um, yeah. And we'll strike with that. Okay. Hmm. Feels like a Salter Dive, which are kind of insane. Technically, one of those is beatable. And the other one is tradable. Yeah, alright. Well, sorry. No crit. Invalid. I need focus or block. Nope. I'm going to take seven. Yep, makes sense. Right, my advantage. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you. For what it's worth, I think that's like exactly the play I would have made. Uh, to, don't know what's what's in your hand, but I was like, yeah, assault. You know, set up range three and play a speed six, power seven, assault. Makes good sense. Now. Ah, I see. Blue also thought assault, but he was thinking of a different follow-up. Alright, let's do uh, strike. Yeah, see, my thought was that this would be a cross-grass mix-up to follow-up. Because uh, the telegraph is cross because it puts you back in the corner. But Fair. cross loses to grass, but if you think I have a grass, then you play grass instead. I'm okay with this. That's yep. grass. Yep, there it is. I take three. Move you one. Mm -hmm. Strike. Crit. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have crit. Uh, cross. Hmm. Had both sides of the mix. Yeah, and... No fear. Ah, no fear of anything! Uh... I did have the feeling, as I was setting that spike, I was like... I don't think you... I'm not sure you actually have enough experience against Ken to be afraid of uh, Axe Kick in the first place, so this mix-up might just not work. Um, I'm gonna pay uh, critical. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, it's probably only the uh, two armor, four guard, speed three, eight power, which uh, doesn't necessarily instantly annihilate me. Okay. I, I had a very uh, distinct line of play here, and uh, this is the line playing out. Makes sense. Yeah. All right. Um. All right. So, since you crit. The reason I said thank goodness is it's not an ultra, <laughs> um, to be clear. <laughs> uh, pounce for eight, sky high for eight, not Barcelona. Um, yeah, so can't beat either of those with anything at all. Uh, do I have blocks? Oh yeah, I got blocks. Cool. But I'm going to wild swing a Hadouken instead and lose the game. All right, good game. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> What? My wild swings are really, really good. Everyone knows that, right? Very, very <laughs> I know what I'm going to wild swing. <laughs> it just works. <laughs> yeah. Um. yeah. Oh, good games. <laughs> yeah, I got to the point where I was just like... I I think I know what my line has to be, and that's when I was like, this is going to be really complicated, and I'll organize pretty much my whole hand, which I probably shouldn't do, but eh. Eh, that's fine. Um, so, if I had crit axe kick to range one to stuff the cross, then you have to actually work to get back to the corner. Yeah. But, uh, 
did you did you think of the threat of axe kick or was it really just what wasn't even like didn't care what i played already had your line i was at a huge deficit and i felt like i needed to take risk to get back in the game makes sense yeah no i think you're right so. and i think th this is the card i was most afraid of in this matchup and it's honestly one of the cards i'm most afraid of always from vega this card is amazing holy crap when I jumped in and did the EX sweep, I was like, man, if he has EX Pounce, EX Pounce stuns EX sweep. It stuns EX sweep. Why is that even allowed? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man. 